Hello, my Ava J foodies. Today, what I'm going to make for y'all is my banana pudding. First, you want to start off with vanilla cookies. Whatever ones you like. Oops, they breaking already, y'all. You want to line the bottom of your pan. This here is a 9 by 13. Of course, you know if you use a larger pan, you are going to need more of everything. But this one is a 9 by 13. And this is for my whoever love banana pudding and, and want to know how to make it or whatever. This is how I make it one of the recipes. Um, I make it another way too that's, you know, more basic. But, um, yep, this is banana pudding, y'all. This is for my beginner chefs. A nice, easy dessert that you can make for the summertime. Or, honey, you can eat it anytime. I love banana pudding. This is an anytime dessert to me. A lot of people eat it in the summer, but as I tell y'all, honey, anytime you got a taste for it. And I like a lot of cookies in mine, y'all. I like a lot of cookies in mine. I like a, a lot of, I like enough of everything. So, when you see how I load mine up, that's how we do it, baby, around these ways. Okay, then you're going to take your bananas, your fresh bananas. Don't get them too ripe because, you know, we as we know, bananas, once they get out of the peel, they start to turn brown and they get that little nasty look to them. And, you know, and um, be looking all nasty and you don't want them. And then if you're making banana pudding, make sure you make it for people that love it. Because, you know, the bananas, they don't stay long, you know. They start to get that, as I say, that brownness to them, you know. And you don't want folks talking about, ooh, that banana pudding look nasty. I don't want none of that. <laughs> so you just cut the bananas and layer them all over your cookies like that. And I like, again, enough of everything on mine. Everything is personal preference, though. As I always tell y'all, cooking is very versatile. So if you don't like that many, you know, bananas in your banana pudding, hey, by all means, fix your banana pudding the way that you like it. But this is how I like mine. I like enough of everything, honey. I likes to do it big. You feels me? <laughs> These little strings be so annoying on bananas, y'all. You got to take the time to peel them off. Get in the way, and they be annoying at times. And I don't like no thin bananas either. I like mine to be a nice little chunk. Okay. And then next, I make, now y'all, this is vanilla store-bought pudding, baby. I know how to make homemade custard, but why waste your time, honey? Ain't nobody got time for that. When you can use this vanilla pudding and your banana pudding will still be very delicious. Trust me, try it. You'll see. You take your vanilla pudding and you just pour it on top. Make sure you get it all on there real good. Again, I told y'all I like to do it big. And you spread it just like that. Okay. Next, what I have... 
is another little mixture. And that is, this is one block of cream cheese softened, a fourth cup of sugar, and a teaspoon of vanilla. And I blend this together. And this goes on top. It's going to be messy. It ain't going to go on smooth. Don't worry about it. Honey, just do what you got to do. Because you know pudding ain't going to stay still with no cookies and bananas under. So it's going to move. But that's all right, though. That ain't going to take from that deliciousness, though. At the end result, y'all. Banana pudding be so good, y'all. This is one of my favorite desserts. My family loves it, too. We all do. This won't sit around my house at all. Okay, and I like a very full pan. Then you're going to start in with more cookies. I probably should have got a bigger pan, y'all, but hey, we're going to make do with this one. It ain't got to be pretty either, honey. Just line that stuff on up, up there. Ain't nobody going to be looking at how cute it is. Folks going to want to know how do it taste. That's what's going to count. Make it count, honey. They going to want to be concerned about the taste. And I love a lot of everything, as I tell y'all. On my banana pudding, I like to have enough, honey. I likes enough of everything. Okay? Then you're going to top it with more bananas. Get that annoying string out the way. This is so delicious, y'all. This will really be a really good picnic dessert, honey. Keep it cold. You know how you do that. You just keep you a pan of ice and sit this on top and cover it with some foil. And honey, when it's time for dessert, dig right on in.
it takes assembly, you know, to put it together, a little assembly. But hey, in the end, it's going to be all worth it. It don't even take that long to make this, y'all. The only sad part about it is for me is that I have to wait overnight. <laughs> That's a bummer for me because I like my cookies soft. How many of the rest of y'all out there like y'all cookies soft too? Y'all can feel what I'm talking about. I love soft cookies. It's just something about it, y'all. The soft cookies with the bananas and creaminess and with the whipped cream and pudding and all that good stuff, honey. It'd be so good. Then we're going to go in with another layer of pudding. I do it big, honey. This will fit in a bigger pan, too. Our pan is getting a little little today, y'all. <laughs> Don't pay this no attention, y'all, and see that, though. <laughs> I bet y'all like, dang, she overloading that pan. Yeah, I could actually use a bigger pan for this. A little bit bigger, because, honey, it is overflowing, busting out the seams. But, honey, when we get to it, trust me. It's going to be like it was never that full. Top it off with the last layer of cookies. And you can use any vanilla cookie and stuff that you want. I personally love Nilla Wafer. But you can use any brand and any kind that you would like. Look, y'all, I'm doing a countdown. When this gets finished, look, I got 23 and a half more hours, y'all, before I get to dig into this yummy goodness. <laughs> I'm counting, y'all. I love it. Okay, I think that's about enough cookies, y'all. Then we gonna got another surprise. We're going to top it off. With a little bit more whipped topping, whipped cream, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, the next time, y'all, we're going to use a bigger pan. And that's it, y'all. Ava J's homemade banana pudding. So till the next time, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification button for new videos every week. Bye-bye.